so there is a lot of excitement around the new JBL Partybox 320 and 120 because they have all new designs, they have slightly better sound performance, and they both have swappable batteries, which I personally feel is a pretty big deal. Now, both of these two speakers are great, but if you're trying to choose between the Partybox 320 and the Partybox 120, here are the main differences, and let's see which one's right for you. So first, if there's price. The JBL Partybox 320 has a retail price of $600. That's pretty up there, but I do expect the speaker to go on sale for $550 eventually. And then there's the Partybox 120, which has a retail price of $400, but I do expect the speaker to eventually go on sale for $350. Nonetheless, if you want to pick either of these two speakers up, they'll be linked down below, or you can always press on the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat. Link down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming, and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat, and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button, and let's get subscribed. Now first, we have to talk about the design of these speakers. Now in general, these two speakers look very similar to one another. First off, both of these speakers have the same light features. They both have those large conjoined light rings on the front, they both have RGB light bars on the top and bottom, and they both have built-in stars. And through JBL's app, you can choose from a few different lighting modes and you can customize these light features as well. Overall, the light features on both of these speakers are very dynamic. and they are the same on both of these speakers. Another thing that's identical on both of these speakers are the ports panels on the back. Another thing that's identical on these speakers are the port panels on the back. They have the exact same setup and both of these ports panels have a built-in LED, which I feel is a nice touch. And both of these speakers have top hat mounts on the bottom, so you can place them on a speaker stand mount if you want. And the durability of these speakers is the same as well. Both of these speakers have a mostly plastic body which can get scratched up very easily and they both have thin metal grills on the front which can get dented easily as well. But here are the design differences between these two speakers. First off, the control panel on these two speakers are slightly different. Both speakers have large dials for your volume and light feature and they both have a DJ buttons. But the 320 has control knobs on top so they can easily adjust the sound of your microphone, whereas with the 120, you have to use JBL's app to adjust the sound of your microphone. But instead of knobs on the 120, the 120 has a built-in center-mounted carrying handle. And this carries over to the portability of these speakers. The 120 is noticeably smaller and lighter than the 320 with a height of 22 and a half inches and weighs in at 24 and a half pounds. Whereas the 320 has a height of 26 and a half inches and weighs in at 36 and a half pounds. So obviously the 120 is just easier to take on the go with you because it's smaller and lighter. However, the 320 is also relatively easy enough to take on the go with you and it has a built-in wheels and a telescopic handle and rolling the speaker around is very easy plus since the wheels on the speaker have been upgraded to be bigger and wider the speaker does a really good job of dealing with asphalt and other uneven surfaces so overall the main design difference here is going to be their size and the 120 is more convenient to take on the go with you because it's smaller and lighter however transporting the 320 also isn't as big of a hassle thanks to the built-in wheels. But then there's the battery life on these speakers. Now, the 120 has an advertised battery life of 12 hours, but this advertised battery life of 12 hours is with this speaker playing at 25% volume, which is a decent listening volume for when you're alone, with the light feature turned off and with the bass boost feature turned off as well. World world use with the speaker playing at 65% volume, which I feel is decent for when you're with friends, with the light feature turned on and with the bass boost feature turned turned on as well is good for around six to seven hours of playback time which is good but it is a little less stamina than the 110. But then there's the Party Box 320, which has an advertised battery life of 18 hours, just like the 310. However, this advertised battery life of 18 hours is with this speaker playing at 50% volume, which is already a decent listening volume, with the light feature turned off, but with the bass boost feature turned off as well. 
But real world use with the 320 playing at 70% volume, which I feel is a really good volume to use when you're with friends. With the light feature turned on and with the bass boost feature set to deep, I found that the 320 is good for around 7 hours of playback time, which is good. But again, the 320 has slightly less stamina than its predecessor. But the important thing here is you are going to get a longer lasting battery than on the 120 and it's going to be able to be used at consistently higher volume. However, a major upgrade on both of these speakers is that they both have swappable batteries and these swappable batteries are great for two reasons. First off, you can get multiple batteries and keep the party going if you're in an area where you can't easily plug in. Or if you get to a point where your battery degrades, you can just get a new battery instead of having to replace the whole speaker. But also keep in mind that the battery that comes with the 320 is larger than the battery that comes with the 120. And in order to charge these batteries up, they just get charged up when they're inside of their speakers and plugged in. But also with both of these speakers, they can be used while they're plugged in and with the battery removed. So yes, these two speakers have slightly less stamina than their predecessors, but I think having swappable batteries is very important. But when it comes to overall performance, the 320 does have better real world battery life than the 120 because it lasts longer and you can use it at a consistently louder volume because it does come with a significantly larger battery. Now when it comes to ports and connectivity, things are identical. Both of these speakers can be connected to two devices at the same time so you and a friend can both be DJ. Latency is not an issue for either of these two speakers so you can use them to watch videos with on your phone. And when it comes to audio codecs, both the 320 and 120 have support for SPC and AEC. And when it comes to ports, both speakers have your 3.5mm audio jack so you can use them with a wired connection. And both of these speakers have an audio out jack so you can always daisy chain any other speaker to these speakers regardless of size or brand and get them to play in sync. And both of these speakers still have a USB-A port so that you can either plug in your own devices and charge them up or you can plug in a USB stick and play music off of it. Now personally I think that is great and all that both of these speakers have USB-A a ports but I still wish that both of these speakers had USB-C ports because most phones these days just come included with USB-C to USB-C charging cables. But finally both of these speakers do have two quarter inch inputs so that you can either plug in two microphones for karaoke or you can also plug in a guitar. But the important thing here is that both of these speakers can properly run two microphones for karaoke because this is actually an upgrade for the 120 from the 110. But like I mentioned earlier, with the 320, you can easily adjust the sound of your microphone from the control panel up top. Whereas with the 120, you are going to have to open up a JBL's app. But both of these speakers also have DJ buttons up top, which can be a lot of fun depending on your host, and they can also be reassigned through JBL's app. But overall, both of these speakers are good options for karaoke because both of these speakers can properly run two microphones for karaoke. Because before, this was actually a deciding factor if you were trying to choose between the 310 and 110. But now, it's not if you're trying to choose between the 320 and the 120. But with ports out of the way, let's talk about sound. Regarding speaker setup, both of these speakers have a dual from firing woofers with an exhaust port that shoots out the back, and they both have a dual from firing tweeters. Except on the 320, it's just larger. And with both of these speakers, you can adjust their EQ to your liking, and there's a separate bass boost feature as well. But personally, I just like to use both of these speakers with their stock EQs and with their bass boost feature set to deep. And with both of these speakers, if you use them while they're plugged in, you are going to get a performance boost out of them. They're both going to get louder and they're going to have more bass. But now we're going to go ahead and jump into the sound test. Both of these speakers are running at their 92% volumes. They both have their bass boost set to deep and we're going to be using these speakers while they're plugged in and unplugged.
whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. Whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. Whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. Whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. All my life I will be there for you. So first, when it comes to sound quality, since these speakers are from the same brand and family, they sound very similar to one another, which is to be expected. They have similar instrument separation, and they both like to lean towards a brighter sound signature. But when it comes to bass, the 320 has noticeably more bass than the 120 just because it's larger and it's able to move more air. However, with both of these speakers, you can easily amplify their bass by simply placing them up against a wall because they both have exhaust ports that shoot out the back. But then there's the max volume performance on these speakers. First off, when both of these speakers are running off of their internal batteries, they get decently loud and they get as loud as you'd expect. But just as you'd expect, the 320 gets noticeably louder than the 120. I like to say that the 120 is good for parties of around 12 to 15 people, and the 320 is good for around 20 to 25 people. But like I mentioned earlier, with both of these speakers, if you use them while they're plugged in, you are going to get a performance boost out of them. They get louder and they have more bass. Now the 120 when it's plugged in does a decent job of keeping up with the 320 when it's running off of its internal battery. But when the 320 is plugged in, the 120 just can't keep up. So overall when it comes to sound, if you go with the 320, you're paying for more bass and a higher max volume. But finally, let's talk about pairing these speakers up with other speakers. Now with both of these speakers, if you have two of the exact same speakers, you can pair them up and get Get them to play in left and right stereo mode. Or since both the 320 and 120 are AuraCast speakers, you can pair them up to other AuraCast speakers and get them to play in sync. However, with either the 320 or the 120, you cannot wirelessly connect either of these two speakers to any of JBL's older party box speakers, like either an Encore, a 110, 310, or 710, and you can't connect them to any of JBL's smaller party boost speakers. Now, JBL's app does mention that you can connect party boost speakers to AuraCast speakers, but it seems that you can only connect AuraCast speakers like the Clip 5, Go 4, or Extreme 4. Unfortunately, neither the 120 or 320 show up on this list, so I don't know if JBL is going to add compatibility to the 120 and 320. Hopefully that comes through a firmware update because it'd be great if you can connect your larger box speakers to your smaller party boost speakers. Now, I do feel that not being able to connect either your 320 or 120 to any of JBL's older speakers really does suck. However, like I mentioned earlier, both of these box speakers do have your audio out jacks, so you can always daisy chain them to any other speaker and get them to play in sync. So at least there's that. But with all that being said, if you're trying to choose between the JBL Portybox 320 or the Portybox 120, there are a lot of similarities between them. And that's a really good thing because JBL isn't gatekeeping certain features on one speaker from another. They both have the same great looking light features. They both have the same port panel on the back. They can both run two microphones for karaoke and they both have swappable batteries. The main difference between these two speakers just comes down to size and sound. The Portybox 320 is obviously going to get louder and has more bass and it has a larger built-in battery. Now even though the 320 is relatively easy to take on the go with you thanks to its built-in wheels, the 120's smaller size just makes it even easier to take it from party to party. Overall, I think most people are going to be just fine with the 120. However, upgrading to the 320 is a lot of dumb fun.
If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.